wish you could that's, take a picture, but this is in the way. Now that's service. <laughs> Relationship uh, really formed with crashes. Uh, Ray and I have known Pat for for many years. You know, we, we went to high school together. Uh, he actually graduated a year before Ray and I did, but uh, we always kind of had like this connecting relationship, just from friends in the area and uh, you know different bands and stuff that he's played in, and then. We always were, you know, talked about doing stuff with Crash one day, and then we ended up like doing two singles together. I think like a couple of years back, and then I, uh, you know, the, the band was as comfortable with working with the both of us, and that's kind of how we started going into the album. So, what did you think of your drums the other day? Pretty good. Nice. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Nice. <laughs> What was new on the new Crash of Cut record was, I think, more of an emotional story, lyrically, and diving deeper into problems that a lot of people can relate to, um, which has always been, you know, popped up in all of Crash of Cut's music. This one especially was maybe more relatable to me, or just covered a lot of topics that, you know, a lot of people go through, so I think generally it would be really relatable. I think the, uh, the guys really put their heads together on just taking taking it a step further to make sure that there's there is more of a story being told there is more of like a, a general message and you know Brian does that very well with making sure that there there is something to relate to there cuz you know Brian Brian's you know probably lived through a lot of things before and he really you know he really does paint the picture well for for the listener and uh, I think overall between you know the instrumentalists and, and, and Brian coming together everybody kind of nailed the mark on that. Well, I just remember Brian like telling Ray and I like probably like every week we saw him he would just tell us more and more about the concept and more and more about like how he's developing each character or the, the character itself and um, where he where he was going and traveling through the, the, the town called nowhere and um, I remember Pat being also very very excited about it and you know uh, just just remembering that the band in general just like had this vision from literally from the moment they started talking about the demos to bringing it to full fruition to when we got our hands on it. Um, I really like the concept, concept of the record. I thought it was a really cool idea. I like when bands go forth with concepts that aren't super general. This was just a cool concept. I've never heard anybody taking the concept of something in history and kind of writing around that and making it relative to now and relative to everybody's experiences, but I thought it was a really cool idea.